Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making a recipe from Mandy in the making. If you are new here, my name is Christine. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get two cups of half and half and the sour cream and get them to room temperature. The recipe calls for three quarters cup of sour cream, but this is all I have, which is a half a cup. So I'm just going with what I have. We need four russet potatoes. I'm going to get them peeled and cut up in, in a pot on the stove so that can get started. little salt, little pepper, a tablespoon of butter, and then we are just going to give these just a rough mash. You don't want them to be completely obliterated. You want to leave your soup a little bit chunky. Well, Unless you want it completely smooth, which then of course you could use an immersion blender at some point during this recipe, but I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm adding the sour cream, which is now room temperature. I'm just going to transfer these to this bowl because I'm trying to use as little pots and pans as possible in this recipe. I'm just going to set these potatoes aside. Next, I am going to brown up a pound of ground beef. I don't want any extra salt, so I'm just going to add a little bit of black pepper. We can always add salt to this recipe later if it needs it. Okay, let's remove this.
I just wanted that to come up to a simmer, which it has. I just stirred it down. I am now going to add in a blend of seasonings. We have Italian seasoning, mustard powder, poultry seasoning, and I also have a little bit of my chicken bouillon powder that I love. As always, the full written recipe will be down below in the description box. We also need three quarters of a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. The two cups of half and half. This smells so good. I've never made anything like this before. I'm just bringing this up to temperature before I move on. I just want to get it back up to a simmer. It is just starting to simmer. I'm going to add our potatoes in that we had set aside. The ground beef. about two cups of frozen vegetables. I changed my mind. I am going to add in this whole package. There's not that much left. I just love vegetables and I like a lot of vegetables. If you want less, use less, of course, as always. Oh my gosh, this is looking and smelling beautiful. I'm just going to let this cook a few more minutes just to bring everything back up to temperature again. And then we will add in two cups of shredded cheese and give it a taste test. Okay, it is simmering again. I'm going to cut the heat and we are going to slowly add in two cups of shredded cheese. Look at that, beautiful. Let's give it a little taste test. I tried it and it needed a little more chicken bouillon powder or salt, you could just do salt too. I went light on the salt while I was making this. Let me taste it one more time. That is phenomenal. It is like shepherd's pie crossed with some kind of pot pie, all in a warm, comforting soup. This is a perfect recipe for this time of year. So, so good. Again, I give it a 10 out of 10. I am going to whip up some garlic bread to go with this. You could sprinkle extra cheese on top too. I'm sure that's what my family will do. Excellent recipe. Mandy in the making knows what she's doing, wherever she got this from. It's really, really good. I highly, highly recommend you try this recipe this fall or this winter. I just want to say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.